Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to OMSI2. Welcome back to Simply Connect BCS Bus Company. And today we're going to be looking at two things. We're going to be looking at the add on line 20. Uh, we're going to be doing a very short route on that. And we're also going to be looking at the brand new Aveco Bus Family Low Entry Bus uh, from Halicon Media. Now I'd like to thank Halicon Media for sending us a key to showcase this with you guys. And uh, I'm very excited for this. I love their Aveco buses. I love the coach pack. It's probably one of my favorite packs in OMSI. And we have two variants with this one, which is really cool. We've got a city bus variant, which we're in today. We're in the 12 meter city bus variant. Uh, we own this in the company. It is in one of the garages, currently with no repaint, hence why we're in white. Uh, I will try and get it repainted as soon as possible. And then you've also uh, have the other variant as well, which is more of like a coach variant, which is pretty damn cool. So in 2013, the world leader in the intercity coach market, Aveco is launching its new coach range under the brand new Iveco bus. Based on the Eris bus crossway low entry, Iveco have brought the line of crossway buses up to date with their better finishes, better value for money and improved technical features. The success of this new range of crossway low entry coaches was not long in coming. Discover now the new range of the intercity coaches. The Iveco bus family low entry bus collection will make you discover this range in its total ability. It has 40 models included with unbeatable customization allowing to get closer to reality. So the crossway low entry coaches are built on the basis of a crossway model chassis with a low floor between the doors and high floor on the whole rear part. They are dedicated for mixed and versatile use and proposed in two versions studied according to the missions to be realized. Okay, so you do have the city and then we have the line. Now the line is the coach kind of uh, more cross. Uh, so the crossway LE city, which is what we are traveling today in the 12 meter variant it comes in four lengths 10.8 12 13 and 14.5 it's equipped with special seats these uh, versions maximize circulation space and standing room to ensure accessibility and availability for all being available in several floors numbers of seats and types of door the coach can adapt to any urban or suburban mission their three door version will optimize passenger flow and on busy routes now in the company i've gone for the two door i prefer two doors myself over the three doors um which in some left hand maps you know it, it can be a bit of a downfall because they're quite busy and stuff but this is just my preference that's what i went for in the company uh you also have the crossway line which is available in four lengths the 10 8 the 12 13 and the 14.5 and they're equipped with a floor to maximize seating with the lino seats equipped with safety belts as well as luggage racks and they'll be able to transport your passengers comfortably with the complete safety and accessibility so look first of all uh, we're due out in five minutes but we'll have a little look in here so you can see that we're in the city pack so you've got those kind of uh, kind of more modern uh, coach, uh, sorry, modern bus seats in. That's very nice. It's actually very spacious. Very, very nice little bus. And uh, yeah, obviously we don't have any of these where I'm from, uh, which is a big shame. These look nice. And I think Halicon always do a great job as well. Uh, fantastic job, in fact. But yeah, so, so far it looks good. It looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, if we go into uh, the, the cab, now this is what I like the most. I love the Iveco setup for the coach that is in a city bus. Um, this dashboard layout is my favorite. It does have two dashboard variants, okay? Uh, for me, I prefer the Iveco version. Uh, some people might prefer the other, you know. But for a city bus, having this variant in here it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so you can see what we're doing today. Uh, we are on the 20 to Gartstraub. Okay, so uh, not a very long route, but we have plenty to do. So let, let's uh, let's get ourselves a bit set up here. Hopefully, I've got the right Hoff in. Uh, so we're going to Gartstrab. Let's make sure we can see you. Okay, there we go. We think we found you. Uh, we are on the line 20. So the bus will turn on. I'm not sure if the Hoff will work on the front with this uh, because we're on BCS. I didn't have a lot of Hoff options. So I'm not sure. Oh yeah, look, there we go. And it has uh, turned on nicely. Perfect. Try and get a nice little uh, screenshot of that, I suppose, while we are here. We've still got three minutes until we need to uh, get out of here anyways. So there we go. So this will be repainted as soon as possible. And uh, it'll come in two versions. We'll have this one, which will be in the blue, and then we'll have the uh, the more the, well, the, the line variant, which is more coach variant-like. Uh, obviously, we'll have that. Uh, in the green in the intercity. So there we go. So if any of you guys in the company want to use these buses, uh, the first one is available. I will purchase the second one probably today or tomorrow. Um, I think most people want the city line in first. Most people drive them buses. And yeah, so look, what we're going to do, we're going to go into the cab. We're going to turn on the bus. We're going to see what the sounds are like. We're going to see what we feel about the bus. We're going to take it for a drive, of course. So we are in the Eco Life variant. This is a diesel C12220B. If any of you wanted to know that. 
Okay, let's turn on our passenger lighting. Let's get our lighting on for outside there. We are going to put the bus into drive, hopefully. There you go. Now it's found my steering wheel. No effect on any of these things. I don't think any of these will work. Uh, our aircon will obviously work. Uh, cabin temperature is at 12 at the moment, which is actually okay. We'll open up both doors to clear that bus stopping. Um, nice. Let's have a little look around the cab. We don't have the seatbelt in this city variant, do we? Oh, we do. There we go. And obviously, uh, when you open up the doors, the hazards do turn on to allow people to know. Some buses have this feature now, some coaches anyways. Okay, uh, so we're two minutes before we do the depart out. Uh, I believe this is actually our first stop, is it? No, this is just uh, the pause, the brake stop. Okay. So there, the line 20 I haven't covered much of. Uh, thank you, Ferrisoft, for sending me that a couple of weeks back. Um, I was away, I was sick, there's been lots going on the last kind of few weeks, so I've been quite busy, I'm quite far behind on all the stuff as well, uh, so I'm going to try and catch up as best as I can this week. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Can't wait to get this repainted and... Uh, working in some CCS events and stuff. I think it'd be, uh, I think a lot of people will quite like this. I think uh, there's been quite a lot of interest in the company as it is. So hopefully you guys are happy with the purchases. I didn't go for the triaxle because we have a couple of triaxles that don't get used. So I went for, in the middle, I didn't want the 10. In fact, the 10 was a bit small, but the 12 was okay. It should work on most maps. Lovely. Okay. We can turn on this system, uh, obviously, for me, no idea how to use it, I haven't even looked at it. There we go. It should already be kind of set up because we're using the other things, so there we go. You can see we've got 40 seconds until we're due to depart, we can see that up here as well. There we go, look, we've got our coins in here too, I think that's pretty cool. Lovely. Can't wait to get this bad boy on the road. So if any of you do want to come join us at uh, Simply Connect BCS Bus Company, you are all more than welcome as well. Uh, we are on the public list. Do feel free to come join us. Uh, you do have to be a certain rank to join us, unfortunately only due to uh, BCS itself, but I believe with the new system that's coming next month with BCS, uh, that's all gonna change anyways. So anyone will be able to enter the company, I believe. Okay, let's pull out. Let's see what we think of this bad boy. But yeah, I love the Aveco uh, dashboard in these buses for sure. Some of my favorites. The Coachway pack as well, guys. If you're ever looking for a left-hand drive uh, coach pack, it is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, we have a couple in the company and they're some of my favorites. Okay. We're going to pick up here then. A little bit behind, but that's okay. I have no idea where that woman just went. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. So we're going to take the bus for a nice drive. We'll see what we think at the end. Uh, but so far, you know, so good. We haven't driven very far, but, you know, if it's anything like the coach pack, it's going to be decent for sure. The sounds are lovely. Nice bit of kick down. She's quite rapid. So the BCS company Simply Connect, uh, we do left hand, right hand drive, we do lots of both. Uh, so like I said, you're all more than welcome to come join us. Uh, we tend to do weekly CCS events, I think we are cutting down to one every two weeks. Uh, now that the world has kind of reopened a little bit, everyone's getting a little bit busy. Uh, but we do hold regular CCS events, which is uh, always good. You're all more than welcome to come join us.
so the next video I will do as well, we'll showcase the uh, the line version of this. Again, I'm gonna buy that with the Aveco steering uh, dash. Like I said, there are two variants. I'm not a big fan of the second variant, in all in all honesty. And the uh, the other dashboard is the Actia, which most of you would know. A couple of other things about the bus itself as well. You got a unique and realistic Aveco bus experience. There's 40 models, like we said. Four finishes, two different years of production, complete range of vehicles, different types of doors and lengths, two dashboards. Uh, we've got versatile and customable versions, interior and exterior designs. We've got diesel and the CNG versions, 50 meter versions in the three axles, uh, ticket printer CX6000. Uh, it has multi-language, which actually it does here in front of us. I just uh, realized we probably could put it to English. That would help a lot, wouldn't it? There we go. And we'll press back. It is early evening here in the company. But it is a Sunday drive. There you go. We've got a few more people here now waiting for us. Okay, so there is also authentic sounds recorded from the original vehicles, uh, which you can hear the sounds are really, really good. Okay, more people at this stop. There's optimized, highly detailed 3D modeling, realistic retarder, assignable shortcuts. Uh, we also have speed limit, cruise control, assignable shortcuts, French display systems as well. Uh, detailed manuals for creating repaints, which I've had a little nose at today. Uh, complete overview of the options as well for your settlers. Uh, includes deliveries for some freeware and payware maps, uh, Bad Hugelsdorf, uh, Saint Savan, and Grand Paris Moulin. Uh, I was nearly tempted to do something on Grand Paris. Um, but I realized I actually haven't done anything on the Line 20 yet, so I thought maybe I should uh, do a bit of both. Why not? Okay. We are a little bit behind already.
Okay, so we have one more stop. We've got a few people still left on the bus. So overall, I love it. You know, for me, like I said, those Aveco coaches are some of my favorites. And on BCS, you know, there's not always that. Well, there are lots of routes for coaches, of course, in, in all the maps. But it's so nice to actually have the kind of dash layout and the feel of the bus that is kind of the coach, but in the city pack. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, love the sounds. Love all the variants. There's some really cool ones. I'm kind of tempted now to even buy a triaxle um, and give it a go. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if any of you are in the Simply Connect bus company. I know quite a few of you will be watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Would you want a triaxle version? I might ask you on Discord as well. If any of you are new, do come join us on Discord. All things uh, transport simulated related. And, uh, you know, guys, highly recommend the pack. You get so many variants. Uh, so much stuff you can do uh, You won't be disappointed. I don't think with this pack. No way Absolutely fantastic Hamburg line 20 nice little run there quite happy with that as well Here we go. This is us at the end of the line Not too bad a delay of one minute at the end. I'll take that any day of the week Open up the doors Yeah, we've got a few late runnings which is gonna dampen our score in a minute uh, but there we have it guys, that is the Iveco, brand new Iveco pack from Halicon Media. Uh, I will put a link to this pack in the, the uh, description down below for you guys. So this is the Iveco bus family low entry bus. Um, obviously there are quite a few of them so it can be quite confusing. Uh, so like I said I will put a link uh, down below if any of you want to get a link to this pack. Uh, next video we will try out the uh, more kind of coach variant, uh, the line variant for more kind of longer distance lines I, I'd imagine. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, we'll have a look at maybe a triaxle as well. I think because I really love this pack. Let me know. Do you want to see the other dashboard layout as well? Like I said, I'm just not a huge fan, so that's why I put it in the Iveco for the company. But if you guys want to see on the video, I'm sure I can manage to uh, make one video with it. Again, let me know. Big thank you to Halicon. Uh, thank you for all of you that are watching. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're new. Come join us to Simply Connect. And other than that for myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.